In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four step signpost template in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this uh, template. As you can see, it looks like a signpost kind of thing. So I have just used this to show the PDCA plan to check and act. Like I've just put one arrow which is pointing towards do, then this arrow pointing towards check and then this pointing towards act and again it comes back to the plan. So the cycle continues. So this is just one example I have explained. You can just do a lot of things with this and I've provided some shadow effect and I have added some uh, background effect also a background image also. I have created one more slide where I have not provided any background image you can see here you can make it something plain like this also and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle at the bottom here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some a gray color then i'm going to just duplicate it and then i'm just going to give it a more lighter color and then i can just reduce the size and the width also and then i'm just going to place it exactly in the center of this all right and then i'm going to add one more shape go to shapes and then i'm going to select this a trapezoid draw a trapezoid maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline shape will give some dark color here then i'm going to add one uh, rectangle go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the height maybe this much i'm going to keep so let me just select all this let me just bring it somewhat down so you can see here this much shape outline make it no outline now i'm going to give some gradient fill here right mouse click go to format shape and here select the gradient fill so by default i have used here let me just uh, explain you what exactly i did first of all the type i have selected linear direction you can just choose any direction left or right whichever and then the first stop i have just make it a gray color here the second stop i have made it somewhat lighter color then more darker color here darker gray and here also if you want you can keep the same color or you can make it more darker also so it looks something like this so what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to select all of this you can see here something like this if you want we can just group it press ctrl g to group it and then press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other size so depending on your uh, requirement how much width you need you can just increase or decrease the width you can see here then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a few more uh, bars here for that i can select this one only this press ctrl c click outside and then ctrl v so i got this pasted you can see here i can just reduce the size go to format shape rotate i can just rotate right 90 degrees you can see here and then i can just keep on increasing the you can see here the width here let me just increase in this case because i have changed i have increasing the height all right so you can see here still i need to increase it i think this is perfect all right and then i'm just going to send this to back it looks something like this then press ctrl d i'm just going to add two more here you can see here again one more here ctrl d one more here all right so like this so this also i'm just going to send this to back and you have to just make sure that it is all properly aligned okay just make sure that it is aligned i can just make it left all right so that it is properly aligned now i'm going to add four rectangles here now if you want to give a gap also you can just select this both and you can just move it down and you can give a gap also here all right now let me just go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle i'm going to draw a rounded corner rectangle so depending on my requirement i can increase or decrease the width and make it less curved here something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i can give this green color all right 
I'm just going to place it here and then I'm going to add one border here so press ctrl D again shape outline I'm going to give some kind of light gray color and increase the weight you can see here maybe this much and then shape fill make it no fill and then hold the shift key or just you can just reduce it depending on your requirement all right you can see here something like this then i'm just going to select both of these rectangles press ctrl d add the other side okay you can see here then press ctrl d i'm going to add it at the top all right make sure that it is properly aligned and this color i'm going to give the red green outline and the background color i'm going to fill with light gray something like that or depending on your requirement you can change also again let me just select both of this press ctrl d and add the other side so it looks something like this so make sure that it is properly aligned now you can add a few more shapes here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select this you can see here the multiplication sign draw the multiplication sign and make it uh you can see here maybe this much size shape outline you can maybe uh, make it no outline and shape fill you can give some darker colors and then i'm just going to bring it and put it here you can see here something like this and i can just send this to back okay press ctrl d one more time and then just put it exactly here in the center and then this also send to back so make sure that it is properly aligned all right and again this also from this side also this has to be properly aligned so make sure that it is properly aligned so that you get a sorry i have to just select this versus this and align left yes you can see here this also i'm just going to do the same thing to make sure that it is aligned right and this also align right all right so we have got this information sorry this uh, design also ready now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a few more uh, some small minor designs so let me just zoom it a little bit you can see here so here i kind i'm going to put kind of a, a screws and the, or the nuts and bolts so again go to insert shapes i'm going to select this uh, trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark colors and then i can just simply rotate it you can see a simple there are a lot of ways you can just do it i'm going to use it to rotate right 90 degrees and then i'm just going to put it here all right you can see here something like this i can reduce the size also and if i want i can add one more rounded corner rectangle also here to look it more realistic you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill again you can make it more darker or you can give the same color so depending on your requirement you can just choose it and here i can just go and give some shadow effect also i can just choose any shadow effect here like this then i'm just going to select both of these press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then just i'm going to put it for each this one you can see here ctrl d this if you don't give also not a problem but this is just to give for a realistic uh, effect that's it nothing else you can see here ctrl c let me just zoom out so it looks something like this ctrl v and bringing the other side let me just zoom it and here i'm going to rotate this shape you can see here i can simply rotate to flip horizontal and then i'm just going to rotate here because there's no the enough space is given that's the reason it is coming out so maybe what we can do is we can just move this a little bit here you can see here and then i'm just going to give a okay press ctrl d add this here ctrl d this is for this and ctrl d 
we can see uh, something like this so like this uh, you can make some more designs outside also so here once the design is ready what i can do is i can just select all press ctrl a press ctrl g to group it and then i can go to the effects shadows scroll it down and i can give this perspective so you got the shadow effect also like this now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the text here so first of all go to insert i'm going to add this shapes the arrow here small arrows you can see here so the first arrow i'm just going to make it no outline and make it a white color all right and then press ctrl d this is it's pointing towards upside you can see here this one i'm just going to place it here ctrl d now this is going to points towards the right side and then change the color to green so that it is clearly visible and press ctrl d to duplicate and this is going to point downwards all right you can see here something like this and then you can put step one two three four or directly you can just go to text for example i'm just going to say plan to check act or you can just put any title here for example i'll just say step one all right center align maybe white font bold i'm going to use the font century gothic or any other font of your choice let me just put like this step one and then go to insert text box you can add detail text here you can see here something like this you can do it maybe i can just bring it down so depending on your requirement you can just put it i'm just uh, roughly putting this text here control d this one i'm going to make it green color again control d so this is step two this is three and this is four so you can use the the different the pdc also plan check do and act or any other text which you feel better you can just simply add it here so now it's up to you if you want to keep the background as it is or if you want to use any image uh, maybe you can just download some nice images from unsplash.com so let me just go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the whole slide shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select picture or texture fill so by default i have used this image before then what you can do is go to the picture format and artistic effect you give more a blur effect here okay and then just simply send this to back so it looks something like this you can see here if you want to give more blur effect also you can select here go scroll it down and you can increase the radius here so you can see here it more blur effect has come so now uh, one more thing is very important here if you are adding any images which you have downloaded from the net it, the size will be very huge so you need to compress it for that you need to just select this go to the picture format and there's something called compress picture okay by default it is already it's here email 96 uh, ppi so uh, select this one if it is enabled and then remove this and click ok so what will happen here is the image will be compressed and the the file size of your presentation will be very very less otherwise it will be in mbs so uh, you can see here this is the simplest way you can just uh, create this uh, four step slide